Okay guys, we're making veggie biryani. We're gonna start with a cup and a half of white rice. This is uh, basmati. And I'm just gonna place my rice in my bowl. I'm just gonna wash the rice initially. So one and a half cups of rice, that equals to three cups of water later on. So first things first, just wash the rice. It's really important to get the starch out of your rice. And literally cold water and just watch the color changes. So the first wash is gonna be, gonna leave you with really milky water, really murky water, where that starch is gonna be released. And then slowly, by the time you get to the fourth wash, you'll be almost clear. Time for our fourth wash. And this is our fourth and final wash. This is gonna be the final one, and then we're gonna drain it while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. And this, see this water now? It's a lot clearer, a lot less starch. It's almost see-through, exactly what you want, and that's exactly how you get perfect rice. Okay guys, so I've drained my rice in my little thing here. I'm going to place my rice into the same bowl that it was in before. Okay, so I've got some lukewarm water here, right? And I'm going to soak my rice in one and a half cups of water. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to one side to soak. And then we're going to get on with the rest of our ingredients. Right, our rice is soaking. Let's get the heat on this pan. And we're gonna start off by just toasting our spices. Now I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of ghee. This is clarified butter, I love it with Indian food. Okay, so straight away we're gonna go in with two bay leaves. And we're gonna get some green cardamoms, which I'm just gonna crush in my hand. And that's where all the flavor is. Got some cloves, a couple of sticks of cinnamon. I'm just gonna, just gonna, I've got a black cardamom here, which is gonna which I'm just gonna crush with the bottom of my knife. That goes in. Then we're gonna go in with a ham, with a pinch of uh, cumin. Give it a good stir. Right, let's come back over here and just get our onions peeled and chopped very quickly. Just so you guys know, I've actually taken the spices off the heat while I just chopped these onions. I should have had these pre-prepped, I didn't. So, just gonna do it on camera anyway. Okay, so onions, we want long strands, right? So, and as soon as that heat comes to temperature, we're gonna go in with our onions. Let's go straight in. Wonderful. But onions play a big part in this. I'm just going to let them do their thing right now. Let's get our potatoes in. So, our potatoes, reasonably chunky. Straight in. One got away from me. And the potatoes and the carrots in this, they're going to be like the meat. You know, better than meat. I'm going to get my carrots. And carrots are going to go in later. I don't want these to soften up too much. I want them to get a bit of crunch on them. So I'm just going to leave to one side. Okay, so around about now, we can go ahead and start adding the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to go in with two different types of masalas. Now I've got this meat masala, so one teaspoon of this. I've also got a tandoori one, which is nice. I'm going to chuck in a teaspoon of that as well, as well as my normal homemade masala. Some coriander, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, might add more later, and a touch of chili seeds. Okay, so you can see that there's a little bit of spices and stuff that's beginning to get stuck on the bottom of the pan. That's fine. You can either go in with a bit more oil or a bit of water. Always, whenever you're doing a curry or a, or a base of a curry like this, keep some water with you in your hand. That's a little professional chip there, because you will need it. Chili, okay, definitely need some chili. Those chili flakes are nowhere near enough. So we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of chili powder. Just 
Beautiful. Right, so at this stage, okay, the onions are sauteed nicely, the potatoes are still quite firm. We need, our, we need to add our ginger and our garlic. So I've got one tablespoon of ginger and garlic mixed. I'm just gonna add that and stir it up nicely. And guys, I didn't add any salt, so I'm gonna go in with two tab uh, teaspoons of salt. Now that might seem like a lot, but you've got to think that we're gonna we've got a lot of potato in here that needs flavour, and the rice is gonna be put in here as well. So two teaspoons is perfect. And at this stage, guys, I'm gonna go in with three tablespoons, actually about two and a half heat tablespoons of plain yogurt. And already this looks outstanding. So we're going to go in with our carrots first. Wonderful. We're going to go in with some frozen peas. About a cup, personal preference. And about half a cup of sweet corn. I love it. And now this is developing into the most beautiful veggie biryani. Okay, I'm just going to let that simmer down just slightly and I'm going to go and drain my rice and then that's going in. Brilliant. Right, okay, so our rice is drained and we're going to go straight in. And let's get this rice in there, let's stir it up. Okay, so if you look at that rice, it looks beautiful, it looks aromatic, it looks delicious. Now we're just going to top it with some water, cover it and then it's done. Okay, so we've got one and a half cups of rice, so you need double the amount of water, but we have to bear in mind that we did let the water that we did let the rice soak in water as well. So I'm gonna add two cups instead of three because we've got the potatoes to think about as well. Beautiful. So we're just gonna cook this out, put the heat up a little bit, let that water come to temperature, and then once that's simmering away, we're gonna cover it and let it simmer and steam for a further 17 minutes. Okay guys, our rice has been cooking for about three or four minutes with the water in. I'm a little bit worried, so I'm gonna actually add a touch more water. So I put in two cups of water and I'm gonna put in another half just to, just because while eyeballing it, just by looking at it, I do feel that it might need a much, little bit more just because we've got three potatoes in there. I'm gonna cover this now and I'm gonna leave it for about 17 minutes. Okay guys, so what we do is we go in with some foil, foil both, put, pop the lid on, and just tuck in the foil so the steam can't escape, and that's it, that's going to sit on a low simmer, really, really gently, and that's just going to cook in its own steam for about 15 minutes, and then for the last 5-6 minutes we're going to turn off the heat and just let it steam, and then we're going to open it up. Okay guys, my rice is off the heat. We're gonna leave it in this pan now just to steam for another, for another seven minutes. So it's been on the stove for about 15 minutes on a gentle simmer, and now we're gonna carry on letting it cook in its own steam off the heat for a further five to seven minutes. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place my tea towel on top of the foil because just to lock in a bit more of that uh, steam because I can see some of it is escaping. It's thing there. I've got some warm milk here, guys. Just a pinch of saffron and we're just gonna put it in some warm milk and just let it infuse that beautiful color. I'm just gonna let that infuse. And I've got some chopped parsley, well, I've got some parsley here, which I'm just gonna chop. And we've got some cashew nuts here as well. Just gonna crush them up, just dice them up with my knife. Right, and these are, these are our garnishes done. Just waiting for that rice to just finish steaming. Right guys, our rice has been resting for about a further five, six minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Let's see how it looks. Oh my God. Wow. Amazing. And just look at the spices. Wonderful. Okay, we're almost there now. We're gonna go in with our saffron milk. So just gonna spoon it into there. Make sure there's a little bit everywhere. And the aroma here is just next level, guys. Next level. And we're gonna go in with our cashew nuts and a handful of whole cashew nuts as well fresh parsley okay guys we're before serving we're just going to let this sit 
for a further minute or so and it's just going to dry up slightly more and then that's going to be perfect rice. Right guys, take a close up look and this is how your biryani should look. Beautiful, fragrant, outstanding, delicious. Right guys, time to serve up and eat. Okay, beautiful. Look at it, oh my God. Got potatoes, cashews, carrots. You don't need the meat, that's what I'm saying. And I'm a meat eater saying that. With dishes like this, you don't need the meat. Okay, let's give this the taste test. Look at that potato. It's just so light and fluffy. Not too spicy. A little bit of sweetness from that cinnamon. Perfect amount of salt. Beautiful. Guys, make this biryani and hit me up in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and like this video. All right, see you later.